in Brian Cooper's The Ironclads of Cambrai, he quotes a soldier at Ypres saying, quote, One of our men was unfortunate enough to step out of line and fell into one of these mud holes. We managed to loop a rope securely under his armpits, but it was useless. The poor fellow now knew he was beyond all aid and begged me to shoot him rather than leave him to die a miserable death by suffocation. I am not afraid to say, therefore, that I shot this man at his own urgent request. End quote. In the accounts, it's clear that this particular mode of dying affected the soldiers, you know, worse than most of the other ones. This is the, the true extra horror of Passchendaele, of Third Ypres. Writer Adam Hochschild, in his book, To End All Wars, quotes a British major at Third Ypres, who says, quote, A party of A Company men passing up to the front line found a man bogged to above the knees. Bogged with mud, he means. He says, quote, the united efforts of four of them, with rifles beneath his armpits, made not the slightest impression, and to dig, even if shovels had been available, would be impossible, for there was no foothold. Duty compelled them to move on up to the line, and when two days later they passed down that way, the wretched fellow was still there, but only his head was now visible, and he was raving mad. End quote. And just like most of the other bad World War I battles, you know, the people stuck out in no man's land that you couldn't go get drove the men in the trenches, their comrades, just almost insane with powerlessness. 